With this test I want to observe the results of plate conditioning with softened water that has uh, cycled through a standard water softener that uses salt. Okay, test is started, 79 degrees in the water and about 14 amps. I'm five and a half minutes into the test. I'm showing 87 degrees in the water. No evidence of scum. Although the water has already turned brown to a small extent. At 10 minutes, I note the water is 94 degrees. There's very small particulates. The water is a distinct amber color. I forgot to note there's no evidence of scum. At 18 minutes the brown particulates are beginning to coalesce and become visible. They are in suspension. There is no scum. The water temperature is 108 degrees. I don't know how possible it is to see this. Oh yes, that shows up nicely. At 19 minutes and 20 seconds, um, there's definitely stratification of the particulate. That may have something to do with temperature. The particulate is slowly settling below the stratus. Okay, at 25 minutes, I see distinct particulates in the water, but no scum. Um, the conclusion that I come from this is that uh, water softened with a salt type water softener does not produce scum. So with a backdrop of uh, electrolyzer going here. Uh, my conclusions between ordinary water with uh, a fair amount of minerals in it not softened produces scum. Distilled water produces the least amount of brown particulates but it produces no scum. Uh, water with a little bit of plumber silicon grease in it produced or excuse me, distilled water with a little bit of plumber silicon grease in it did produce particulates, but I do not believe that it had anything to do with the silicon grease. And on the other hand, I believe it was just a buildup from reusing water. I would have to test again to be sure of that. I do not believe silicon grease creates particulates in the water. Finally, <clears throat> Water softened in using a uh, salt type water softener definitely produces brown particulates, but it does not produce scum. Uh, my conclusion is distilled water is the best, softened water is the second best, and if you have something like silicon grease in it, uh, it'll produce particulates but not scum. The only water that I've observed that produces scum is unsoftened water with a lot of minerals in it. Alright, now that the salt softened water has sat for a couple days, there's how much precipitate there is. Golly, looks like more than an eighth of an inch in the bottom there. 
conclusion is salt softened water produces more brown but it doesn't produce more scum.